Dr. John Tooker, Penn State Extension, is working with growers to investigate whether having multiple cultivars of wheat in a field will help protect the crop from insects and diseases and boost yields. So we're standing in front of uh, what I call the genotypic diversity experiment. And the goal of this experiment is to learn if mixtures of wheat can yield better and control pests better than individual monocultures. So most fields in Pennsylvania are planted as monocultures, one genetic variety, as far as you can see. But in Europe and other parts of the world, cultivar mixtures are more popular. That is, they'll put, say, five varieties of wheat in one field. And from that, you get, you seem to get these pest management benefits. So a, a field of wheat that has five varieties in it will get less disease because the disease doesn't spread as easily across the field. So we're trying to figure out if the benefits to insect control are the same in these fields, and they should be better than a monoculture um, for pest management, but you also should get a little bit of a yield increase because the different varieties will actually complement each other. So if you have two varieties side by side, one will actually root deeper, and the other one will, deep, uh, will root more shallowly, and then they're actually extracting more nutrients from the field, they should be able to do better. Berks County is the third highest wheat producer in the state. Twenty growers joined us in June to learn about the possible benefits of mixtures. So the mixture works because you have genetic variation in the field. So if we were to walk into this forest or this woodlot here, all those different maple trees, there are different genetic variety. So if a particular caterpillar wants to feed on those trees, he might be able to feed on one, but he wouldn't be able to feed on the one next door because there's kind of variation there. They make different chemicals that defend the plant against the caterpillar, and the same thing would be going on in the wheat field. So there's different genetic varieties. They have they bring different things to the table. So some wheat varieties are taller or shorter. They have broader leaves. There's also variation that we can't see. So inside the leaf, they have different chemicals, but they have different resistances that Melissa can talk about to various diseases. Thing to insects. So while an aphid species might be able to eat on variety A, it doesn't do as well on variety B, it doesn't do as well on variety C. So if we throw those different varieties together, then the pest is just unable to spread across the field as fast. It's, it's just that simple. Because if, it, if it's all the same genetic variety, they can feed on every plant they encounter. So the disease can establish on every plant they, it, it encounters. But if it's a mixture like that, it's going to be a random uh, distribution of these varieties across the field and then the variety the insect can't just hop and feed hop and feed and keep going it actually takes some time to find the variety that it prefers in the meantime it can be killed by a disease another insect can kill it or just the crop is far enough along that it matures through the vulnerable stage of growth Dr. Alyssa Collins, Penn State Extension plant pathologist, explained that mixtures help you diversify your portfolio, reducing the risk that your field is infected with a disease. Everywhere, because these spores travel all over the place. They're wind-borne. When you see powdery mildew, and it's powdery, you brush that, you're brushing thousands of spores from every touch. So it's all over the place. And where you see it and where you don't is based on if you have a susceptible plant, Some of your plants will be infected, but some won't. 
maybe the next year you just get a powdery mildew fungus. That year certain plants will do better than the plants that did good last year. So th this is really a way to cover your bases, and I used the analogy earlier, it's like diversifying your financial holdings. It's like if you, you know, just bought all of one stock, that stock did really poorly, that would be not the best situation for you, but that's why they, they say you got to diversify. So we're diversifying your, uh, your stock here. Keep your eye out for more information as we learn more about mixtures. See you at the next Twilight!